Hey beautiful people, welcome or welcome back to the channel. I'm Josie with Awakened Soul. In case you're new here and this is the first time you're joining us on the channel, we are here today to get a quick message from the universe just for you, whatever you need to hear the most right now at this time. I set the intention that it found you whenever it was meant to find you, so this is meant to be a timeless reading. It found you exactly when it was meant to. Now, I'm sure you know a little bit about what this is about based on the title, but right now it's a mystery to me. I felt called to get a message out to you, so let's see what this is going to be all about here today. Starting with my Animal Apothecary deck. Wow, that is a beautiful message, you guys. First card coming out. If you're watching this shortly after it was released, maybe head over to my community page and check out the video that I just posted. I didn't make the video, okay? Because the first card we have up is almost there with the fox. It reminds me a lot of that little video. Or just search on YouTube, the boy, the mole, the fox, and the horse some clips from that short story just because it's very beautiful. I think that's essentially a nod to it, but there's more of a message there as well that I'll pick apart for you. I'm gonna get a couple more cards out before I chat anymore. Wow, this keeps coming out in readings as well. Victory, and then let me get one final card before I tap into that message before pulling some more cards for you guys. Wow, okay, focus on the big picture. First of all, we have a falcon and a hawk. And even this story from the guidebook mentions a hawk as well. So birds of prey could be really important symbol animals to you at this time. Universe may be using them to communicate messages to you. So if you see creatures like eagles, falcons, hawks, or owls, bird, you know, birds of that nature, Right now, that could be your spirit team trying to communicate a message to you, essentially. So what I'm seeing here is it's quite beautiful, you guys. And I'm gonna, I'm actually going to move these to the center because it'll be a minute before I pull any additional cards just so it's more in focus for you. All right, you guys. So I sense that for whoever's watching this and resonates with this message, you've been struggling for a while now, haven't you? It, you... <laughs> It's probably felt like tower moment after tower moment um, without much of an explanation as to why that's been happening to you, but it has all been happening for your highest good from what I can see here, okay? You guys are very, very close to reaching an important goal of yours, and you will have victory in this matter, whatever that is for you, and for some of you out there, there are several things that you're going to be having a victory over in the near future. The universe really wants to remind you right now that things happen for us, not to us. So sometimes when the negative events are happening and it doesn't make sense, they're happening to help us grow into our fullest version of ourselves, the highest version of ourselves, so to speak. Even if it doesn't make sense at the time, we have to go through all seasons of life to develop who we really are, learn important lessons, and grow as humans and as souls, essentially. But you are very, very close to getting over certain obstacles that have been in your way in the past. This story over here talks about a fox uh, a baby fox who sees a glowing light off into the distance, but between him and that beautiful light is a roaring river that it cannot cross. It's a barrier, so to speak, that is getting in the way. And all the fox desires is that beautiful, bright, shining light off into the distance. Yet, as the seasons roll on, he still cannot reach it because of this barrier that was placed in between the two. As time went on, the fox started to become resentful towards God, towards the universe, um, very much resentful, blaming and, and snarling almost, as in like, why would they put this beautiful blessing in my life but not allow me to reach the blessing? Um, just very upset and angry at the universe for that. But as time went on, the seasons passed, spring became summer, became fall, and then in the winter months, the fox had become an adult. It had gone through all of the seasons of life. It had all had all of those learning experiences and then noticed that the river had frozen over and he was now able to cross the barrier to get to the blessing, to get to the light. And as the fox 
was crossing the barrier, it realized that it had to go through all of those other experiences and learn those lessons, or it may have impulsively ran into that and gotten himself hurt, as in the hawk could have swooped down and harmed the fox, okay? So the fox had come to realize that if it hadn't gone through all of those life experiences, by the time it was time to actually reach the blessing, it wouldn't have been able to work out anyway because the fox would have been harmed in one way, shape, or form. And of course, this is all one big metaphor and it's going to resonate differently for everybody out there. But the learning lesson here is that sometimes we have to go through all of the seasons in life and we have to have those experiences in order to grow into who we are meant to be, in order to call forth those blessings anyway, right? And I know it's easier said than done sometimes, but it's very much the truth. And I've experienced it in my life time and time again. Universe is saying focus on the bigger picture, not diving into each moment and analyzing it to the point of, exhaustion right there is an end goal here and if you can just live moment by moment but not fixate on them not fixate on the past or the future it's going to make the process go so much more smoothly for you and you guys you are almost there you are almost there there's a big victory coming your way in the very near future so get excited but also know that Everything you've had to go through wasn't in vain. It's helped you to become the beautiful being that you are today. So let's get a few more messages out. I'm feeling called to just kind of not do tarot today for some reason. We're going to get message cards out from the universe for you. Actually, I see a specific deck I'm feeling called to right over here. Aside from that, because I think this victory, this end goal is going to be a little bit different for everybody and it's meant to resonate exactly how it is for you and you can trust that. Stay in integrity. Yeah, it's very much important for you to stay true to yourself and to keep a good moral compass, to not try to get ahead of the game or anything like that, but to really, really, again, focus on the good, focus on the bigger picture and trust in the divine to always be leading you in the right direction. Take steps where you feel called to, but don't overwhelm yourself either. Slow it down. Yeah, that's an important message for some of you as well. Some of you guys, you really want to rush into things, whether it's a relationship or a career change or something like that. And of course, this is just a tarot reading on YouTube. You are in charge of all of your own decisions, right? But... If you're watching this and it's resonating, it could be confirmation if you've already been seeking this information that it's okay to take a pause and a breather every once in a while, okay? It's very admirable if you have a go-getter mentality, but at the same time, it is equally important to take a pause here and there, to meditate, to breathe, and to just live in the present moment from time to time because sometimes... We as human beings have a tendency to get a bit carried away, which can lead to neglecting the mind or body, you know, staying up way too late, not getting enough rest or proper nutrition and things like that. And it's very much important to take care of your health in every respect, okay? Not just your material health, but also your mental health, your spiritual health, your physical health, your emotional health. It's all very much important and very important to keep a good balance, okay? Inspire. I think that some of you guys are meant to inspire others as well. Throughout your journey, maybe you can use some of these challenging moments to help uplift other people and encourage them to keep going even when it doesn't make sense or even when it's a little bit difficult and challenging that you can achieve your goals, that you can get there with hard work. We also have a piano I just noticed on this card um, and musical notes. So maybe if you are a musician or a creator of some kind, you this is confirmation that you are very inspiring to those you choose to share your gift with. So that could just be a friendly little um, boost from the universe, okay? We also... We also have the card 4C here. So what that's telling me is yes, some of the things you've been hoping for and trying to manifest into your reality maybe uh, are coming into fruition, essentially. Maybe you have had a premonition of some kind or you have been thinking about this or seeing it in your head for a long time, dreaming of this. 
And the universe is here to confirm with you that, yes, your blessings are almost here. They're on their way to you right now. Just make sure you practice a healthy amount of detachment, specifically with expectations, because the end result might look a little bit different than you originally thought it would. Okay, particularly this message is for you if you've undergone some type of ego death or dark night of the soul is another name for it. Uh, I think ego work has been a big part of your journey, letting go of that and learning to identify as your true self, your soul, and the witness consciousness, essentially. So ego work has been really important for you on this process. And universe, again, is here to confirm that it's all been that way for a reason. Let's get a couple more cards. I'm going to get you a spirit animal card or two, maybe even three. We'll see what comes out for you. And then we're going to carry it on, you guys. This is meant to be a real short message for those of you out there. And if you're resonating with it so far, don't forget to like, subscribe, and if you feel called to, comment down below for the collective. Let's get a couple more cards out. Okay, so first up you have the badger with endurance, and it drives me nuts every time because that's totally a raccoon, so I don't know. Anyway, whatever you seek, your tenacity and faith will be paying off. Know that no matter the temporary outer conditions, you will manifest your desires in divine timing and in the form that is best for you. You guys, that's exactly what I've been saying this whole time. Your manifestations are almost there. It's very important to trust in the divine timing of the process and to keep the faith. And also remember, try your best not to hold on to expectations of outcomes because it might be a little different than you had originally envisioned it, okay? But it's going to come to you in the form that is truly best for you. And you can trust in that process. We also have hippopotamus exploration. If you have become bored with your life, you have the creative power to stir things up and revitalize everything. You can do this by starting new projects, setting new goals, and making spiritual connections. Yeah, most definitely. I'm going to try to get one more out, actually, you guys, just to even it up a little bit here. Let's get one more out. I kind of felt called to get three anyway, so might be for a reason. I hope you're all having a fabulous day or night, by the way, whenever you are watching this. Let's get one more. There we go. There we go. Okay, we also have the antelope with decisive action. You are being told unequivocally that it is time to get moving, set your intentions and take action towards making your dreams a reality. You have a door in front of you, trust your instincts here. Yeah, I think that's a really important message. For some of you guys, you've been feeling called to take a new path. When I speak about detachment, just to clarify this for all of you out there, I'm not saying just sit on the couch and let everything fall into place for you. There is an importance in taking decisive action. When I speak about detachment, it's like in the sense of the law of attraction where we set our goals, we set our intentions. Yes, we start working towards them when we feel called to, but it's also important to just really not hold heavy expectations of outcomes because then you're, you're putting up blockages in case what you're going for might actually look a little bit different when you actually get there in the end, the big picture, right? So if you do feel called to take certain actions in your life, this is confirmation that that could work out favorably for you. It's just important to also remember to go with the flow and slow things down every once in a while and not get too carried away or to have heavy expectations of outcomes and to allow there to be a certain level of flow in the mix as well for you guys, okay? So what I'm gonna do now is pull from one final deck and then I'm going to get some tiles and charms for you guys for further confirmation. Actually, I think we're just gonna do tiles this time to see if any initials come out or any additional messages. And then we will basically leave this here today, you guys. It's meant to be real short. Here we go, we got a couple of messages coming out for you. All right, first message. Yeah, that's, oh, that's amazing. I love how it all works out. The journey wasn't the smoothest or the most pleasant lately, but everything is coming together. Your patience, strength, and perseverance will soon be rewarded. 
the wait is almost over. Hold on. Yeah, you guys, read that again if you have to. This is exactly what I've been talking about. It's almost here. Your manifestations are almost here. Nothing was in vain. It was all happening for your highest good, whether it made sense at the time or not. Don't be afraid to say I love you or thank you to those who deserve to hear it. Don't be scared of embarrassing yourself or appearing soppy. You will never regret a heartfelt I love you or a message of appreciation. You will only ever regret not saying it. And that is also very, very true. Let's get you out some tiles. I'll do some zodiacs. Um, I'll pull some zodiac signs as well. But you guys, I find the tiles and the zodiac signs to be a bit utterly pointless at this point in time because if this message is resonating with you i feel like you'll just know and i don't think the zodiacs or the initials really need to be there because if it's resonating you'll know it's resonating and it's definitely meant to find you okay so you can trust your instincts here all right okay let's get we have far coming out maybe some of you guys are thinking about making a move we have a blank tile Okay. Yeah, maybe some of you guys are seeing bald eagles. I saw the word bald and we were talking about birds of prey. So maybe some of you guys are seeing bald eagles or bald or eagles in general. I don't know. Um, you know what? I'm not seeing much. I'm not going to. I'm not going to jump into that. If you see any words that I'm missing or anything that's significant to you, feel welcome to comment down below for the collective, you guys. But I'm going to basically leave that there. I do see farm as well. We have Gemini coming out for Zodiacs. We also have Taurus, Sagittarius, we'll get two more, Aquarius, and Leo. So that could be extra confirmation, but again, listen to your intuition. If this was meant to find you, it found you for a reason. I'm also seeing form coming out here, so that could be significant. I'm going to leave this reading here, you guys. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you like the newer style I've been trying out of just message from the universe, nothing specific with love or career, just letting things flow the way they're going to flow, drop a comment down below and let me know your thoughts. I wish you all a beautiful and blessed day as always, and I hope to see you for a future video. Bye for now.